private label is not Amazon FBA. In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between Amazon FBA and private label and why it's extremely important to disassociate one of them from the other if you want to build a successful brand of products, a big brand of products, and not just simply another income stream. So there's one clear way that you can distinguish someone who is just building another passive income stream to someone who's actually building a brand of products, brand of products that they're proud of and that they're going to grow big. And that is the way they refer to it. If someone refers to it as building an Amazon FBA business, then they're probably just building another passive income stream. Whereas if someone refers to it as building a brand of products, then you know it's going to be something bigger than Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is just one marketplace that you can sell your own brand of products. But thinking bigger, thinking of it as a brand of products and not an Amazon FBA business is going to allow you to distinguish yourself and build a long-term brand of products that you and your customers are proud of. Let me explain exactly all about this now. So I see private label as simply outsourcing your manufacturing. That's simply it. You're building a brand and you're outsourcing your manufacturing. So I like to see it as I would do if I was building any brand. So we'll take any big brand, for example, you can use Nike, Adidas, Apple, whatever brand you want, but think of a big brand. Think what would you do if you were building this brand from scratch? So no one knows of it. If you're just building this brand from scratch, what would you do? You can go ahead and you can outsource the manufacturing so you don't have to have your own factory to make the products. You can simply get these made by professional manufacturers and made good quality. You don't have to learn the whole manufacturing process. So your job is to create the brand around this. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need one, a marketplace. This is somewhere where you can sell the products that you make and you're going to need number two, an advertisement channel. This is somewhere where you're going to create awareness for your brand and show your products to potential customers so that your customers can go to the marketplace and purchase your product. Again, it's the exact same no matter what brand you're building, you're going to need these two things. You're going to need somewhere to sell the products and somewhere to advertise your products. So for a marketplace, when you're just starting out, you can choose any number of marketplaces. You can choose eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Not on the High Street, Wayfair, millions of other stores if you're in the US, Walmart, and I'm sure there's loads of other stores in the US as well as the UK that you can sell your products on. This can be your marketplace. Again, you could do this from your own Shopify store if you want to. But in a moment, I'm going to explain the benefits of going to a marketplace that you can also use as advertising for your brand. Then you're going to need an advertising channel. Again, you can use a number of different things to advertise your products and get them out to potential customers. You can use Facebook, you can use YouTube ads, you can use Google ads, you can use SEO, you can use influencers, you can use TV, you can use magazines, you can use all these different advertising channels to get your products out and seen by your potential customers. Again, you'll just have to work out where your potential customers are and then create either ads or organic posts on these channels so that you can get attention onto your products. Now, this is where the confusion happens. This is why people see private label as the same as Amazon FBA, is because Amazon FBA is by far the best platform to start your brand on. If you could pick only one marketplace and one advertising platform to start on, it will be Amazon because Amazon have all the customers, they have all the infrastructure, you can send your products to them, they send them out to the customers when they order it. So again, this reduces your overheads, this reduces what you need to arrange to start your brand. You don't need to get couriers, you don't need to have a warehouse to store all your products. You simply send them into FBA, they send them out to your customers when they order them. As well as this, Amazon can be your advertising marketplace as well, as well as just your sales marketplace. You can advertise your products here. Amazon has everyone's ideal customers coming to their marketplace. You know, Amazon sells such a wide range of products that they have so many different customers that you can advertise your products on Amazon either using PPC 
or just organically getting your products ranked so they rank up high and get seen by customers who come in and search for your search terms and this is very easy to do and that is why people see Amazon FBA as the same thing as private label because most people who start a private label brand now start on Amazon FBA because of all the benefits that it has when you're starting your own brand of products. But the issue that I have with this is that you're building only on Amazon's land. You are depending on Amazon to advertise your products. You're depending on Amazon to sell your products. Again, at first, this is ideal because you don't have to learn all of the different other marketplaces straight away. You just have to learn Amazon. But you don't want to do this long term. You actually want to think like a big brand. So you wouldn't see Nike, Apple, Adidas, any of these big brands solely selling on Amazon. No, they sell on a number of different platforms. They sell on their own marketplace, on their own website. They have their own stores. They sell in other retail stores. They sell on other e-commerce stores. They get their products out there in front of as many customers as possible in as many different marketplaces as possible. And this is what you should do if you have your own private label brand. You should think like one of these bigger brands. Think what they would do. They would try and get the products onto different marketplaces and they would advertise their products on different advertising channels depending on where their target customer hangs out. So a lot of these bigger brands still spend a lot of money on TV advertising because they think this is where their customers hang out whereas you can have a direct advantage if you're using the likes of Facebook advertising because you can target your ideal customer and spend a lot less than you would spend on TV or radio ads and you can still get your products out in front of as many target customers as you want using Facebook ads because it has so many users. Again, you can look into a lot of different advertising channels as well as Facebook ads. You can look into YouTube ads. You can look into influencer marketing, Google ads. You know, there's any number of, of these advertising platforms that you can advertise your products on. And again, there's any amount of marketplaces that you can sell on. But Amazon is an amazing marketplace to start selling on because it has FBA and because it's so easy to get your products seen by your ideal customers on this marketplace. So please, if you're looking to build a long-term brand of products, a long-term successful brand of products, then please refer to it as you're building a brand. You're not building an Amazon FBA business. Yes, you can build an Amazon FBA business. Just leave your products on Amazon. Just advertise your products on Amazon, but then you are at the mercy off Amazon and that is why it's considered more of a passive income screen rather than a long-term brand because at any stage Amazon can come along and either kick you off their platform or your ranking can drop on your products and you lose sales this way whereas if you think like a big brand and you build your brand onto as many marketplaces as possible and use as many advertising channels as possible to get your products in front of as many of your target customers as possible then you will be able to build a better long-term business for yourself and a more stable long-term brand for your customers so i hope that you found this video helpful i hope that it cleared up kind of the difference between private label and amazon fba and reduces some of the confusion that's out there from people who are new to it or just getting started but if you would like to start your own successful private label brand of products then I do say that Amazon is the best place to start. This is where I started and still today, it is the best place to get your products out in front of as many customers as possible for the lowest price. Then you can check out the unique private label course. In this course, I teach you how to create unique private label products that are in hot demand on Amazon. And again, you can learn exactly how to get your products from Amazon onto other channels as well. And to do this, you should check out the advanced private label course. In this, I show you how you can increase your sales, increase your profits on Amazon, as well as I have new videos and coming all the time, which will show you exactly how you can start getting your products onto other marketplaces on the internet so that you can grow your brand onto multiple marketplaces and advertise them on multiple marketplaces and build a good, solid brand for the future. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye.